And we're back. As you can see, I already cut the hole for the winch cable to go through, and I cut the plywood out so the plate can sit under there. <clears throat> I still need to find a place to mount these gauges, thinking somewhere where it sticks outside of the box, but I haven't fully figured that out yet. But for now, we will tackle on this project, which is basically making it longer and then rearranging some of the lights since this curtain that's going to be pushed back is going to run into this light up here so I kind of want to rearrange it so there's more light inside this paint booth for painting alright here we go they said, don't fall don't forget all the things you've been taught you've been told don't blame Turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it Get in these voices inside to stay quiet Gone to the place where all this began Just start again Oh, you won't see the light until the dawn breaks No, till it's all said and done You won't know what it takes somewhere else because it's kind of in the way when I put it up and yep then the next day it is uh, start prepping all the stuff for paint <laughs> Thank you. 
24 hours between each coat. So, yeah. first because it's the hardest to set up and then uh, once I get more paint or if I have enough paint left set this back up again and paint the deck because once I set up this frame I don't want to move it again but I don't want to run out of the paint painting the frame so I'm gonna prep all this first
idea what they paint the inside of a 55 gallon drum with, but clearly this paint stripper did absolutely nothing to this coating. Probably just paint over it. Can you feel it wrapped around your soul with no control? Alright, so what you just saw was me putting on the last coat of paint, and I think it turned out pretty well. There's still some stuff that got embedded, but it's a trailer deck, so I don't think it matters too much. I don't really know how well this paint is going to last, because some spots it kind of seems like it's already chipping. 
So to go over what I used, I basically used some clean metal primer from Rust-Oleum. This is the paint I ended up getting. Some low gloss black. And I tried to use this hardener, but the paint doesn't feel much harder. If anything, I almost feel like it's kind of softer. So I don't know if it didn't work or what. Um, I think if the paint end up not lasting as or being as durable as I thought it would, maybe I'll just end up uh, buying some bed liner spray. Cost me about the same as how much I spent on paint, but it would only take me like a day or two instead of almost two weeks. So I'll skip the part of putting it back together, and in the next episode, I'll be wiring everything.